hi, Helen Lingard here again. Now, I shared, I've been sharing my stories um, for years on my blog. And recently, oh, in fact, recently and, and in the past, people have always said, you know, how wonderful it is to hear um, the other people's stories because you realise you're not alone. And yesterday, I um, drove two hours to see my daughter and I was listening to these empowering stories from these people who were sharing their stories. And so I thought it was almost like an aha moment, the universe talking to me. I thought, I need to share my stories because when you share your stories, it's like, it's the same as this phrase, a trouble shared is a trouble halved. And I've become aware of how much better I felt when I spoke to somebody about it. So I want to share my stories of um, my miscarriages. And I've had two before each of my children. And it's very difficult, and I've realised too, and this is why I wrote another blog about bereavement, because people never know what to say to you when you're going through bereavement or when you have a miscarriage. And this was the case with me. Um, I'd um, got pregnant. It wasn't planned, and we were very excited. And then um, I went through a weekend where I had horrendous pain, and um, I knew, I knew myself I was losing the baby. It was only about 11 weeks, and... Um, and then we couldn't, the doctor couldn't come and see us, couldn't come and see me. And when he eventually came, he examined me and said, no, you're still pregnant. Now, even though I'd been through this horrendous pain and I'd lost a lot of blood and, you know, yuck, I knew deep down that I'd lost it, but he gave me a little bit of hope. So we had a scan and sure enough, um, the scan told us I wasn't pregnant. So that was devastating. And I remember kind of back then, this was in the um, early 90s, uh, people didn't talk about it, so I didn't know anybody. I, I wasn't talking to anybody. Nobody was connecting with me who'd been through it. And people even crossed the road. You know, I was seeing people afterwards, and they wouldn't say anything because they didn't know what to say. And then I eventually went out, and I met, I saw this friend I hadn't seen for a long time, and she said to me, I'm so sorry. I know how you feel. And she told me she'd miscarried. And since then, I've spoke to so many people, and mar miscarriage is so common. But because people don't talk about it, you don't know it's so common. So the point of this video and this blog post is that um, you can share your stories by, by blogging and please do click the link below if you want to do that or just talk to people. You know, if you talk to people, um, quite often these things are taboo subjects, you don't discuss them. But when you do discuss them, you realise that other people have been through it too and it's such a good feeling. I mean, it doesn't, obviously doesn't take away any of the grief, but you still realise that, oh my God, I'm not the only one who's going through this. So that's my story for today about miscarriage and how common it is. And you're not the only one. And just because you've lost a baby, it doesn't um, diminish the fact that, you know, um, the baby wasn't born. It's still tough and you will get through it. And I encourage you to click the link below and start sharing your stories. And um, you inspire other people and you get, you get a team and you just, the community is so warm and caring. So that's all from me today. Click on the link below and get involved now and start sharing your stories and inspiring other people.